Oh, is it just a screenshot that? Yeah, but let, it, it was something not too dissimilar to diddle dum. <laughs> well, to, the, to this man. So, what, what, what's your first reaction? If somebody if somebody slid into your DMs and uh, took the time out of their day to say that to you, what would you? How would you react? I mean, I'll be honest, Josh. It's a, a pretty common thing that people ask me, to be honest, because. I can understand why it does look to the to the kind of I don't want to like slate the man, but the uneducated, so to speak, or the not too knowledgeable on the topic, it does look a bit back snappy. So I can kind of understand it, uh, but we know that it's a safe position, especially when it's um, cued properly and stabilised through the muscles, etc. Uh, I mean, it was an Olympic lift, wasn't it, for a long time? So yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty safe position. But initial reaction is more of a if it's if it's a strong man, I'm just thinking, come on, guys, come on. But we're past this now, surely. Come on. Yeah. So in, in terms of effectiveness, obviously you've lifted 190 on the log using this technique. But also what was what was the record? Was it is it Serge Redding? Did he do five hundred pounds on an Olympic bar, similar technique? Yeah, two two thirty, I think he uh, he hit, yeah. So in terms of effectiveness, obviously it it's showing that showing that you can do it, and obviously to get to that level, you're showing that you can can obviously recover and it not being too blah 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 blah. But my my reaction is is context is key, right? If your your grandma's wanting to get in shape and she hasn't done strength training, like, and she's just wanting to improve the quality of life, like, would you be would you be encouraging her to go into these kind of extreme positions for me in my head it seems it's almost like this similar kind of principle to you know we talk about backgrounding and flexion on deadlift for instance and that's such a hotly debated topic blah 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 and i suppose we've always agreed that context is key and if you've got a strong man that's already going into those positions anyway and they're going to go to that on comp day are we not doing a disservice if we don't prepare for those positions and apply a, 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 a proper training structure and structured progression in terms of programming in that position to build resilience. That, that's my opinion. And that's what I believe much like the, the rounded back on the deadlift. So for people just generally strength training, who are just them in the bedroom or in the for people who are just generally strength training and wanting to get stronger, and there's no pressure in terms of like metrics, in terms of numbers that they need it, need to be lifting for a competition. They just want to get stronger. Maybe maybe they would be safer just working within a kind of closer to controlling neutral spine in both both flexion and extension. So when the pressing, maybe don't go into this position quite as extreme as Shane and I was doing in the video. Maybe don't round your back as much on deadlift. Stay closer to neutral. Because that's going to maybe keep you safer towards your goal. However, we're talking in the context of strongman. Like we're, we're just obsessed with strongman. So I'll use the example, Shane, of say co common events. Like like say say for instance, if you if you're working with a barbell, working with a dumbbell, a thin log to an extent you can get away with controlling, like keeping your spine pretty much neutral throughout, I find. But realistically... I just think it's a skill that... Like, I just think in strongman, the best strongmen are the ones who can blend skills. Um, Like me, I'm known for strict pressing the log, but I split jerk the axle. You know what I mean? C two complete opposites. And each implement leads itself to kind of... Like, like you said, the block press here... This is literally the same position as a strict strict log, so it carries over really well. Now, if you're a push presser or split jerker, you could spend the time and learn how to get leg drive into the block. It's not impossible to get leg drive into the block. However, it's very difficult and also uh, inconsistent from my experience so in my opinion like i say blending skills is best if you can lean back and strict press the block you, you're going to be in a position where you know you're going to be consistent in your competition the different shape block that you may be trained with isn't going to throw you off etc in comp 
Uh, but like you say, vertical torso stuff, still you still need to be able to do that in strongman. Yeah. So to add to that, the the as the as the implement gets bigger in terms of diameter and in terms of like potential away from mid foot. So like you look at the blog that look at the block there, you think of a log compared to a barbell on kind of a continuum. You think that the margin for error for applying leg drive goes down significantly. Like if you think like somebody that, that's why you'll get a lot of people who can split jerk on a barbell pretty well, axle pretty similar to a to a to a barbell, not much more difficult, but then they go to a log and then the margin for error they they just can't do it. And then they go to like a sandbag or a block or something like that that's even more awkward or even more further away. And the, the margin for error for most people is is just not even not even worth it. So that that's where obviously you're going to benefit from from actually getting strong and resilient in this position. And also as well, a thing with getting getting a log rack position that's ideal, like we talk about all over all the time, like getting your joints stacked over midfoot and stuff. If you look from the side, most of us finding that midfoot position, it we are going to have to kind of go into a bit of back extension by definition or keep a perfectly straight back, but then the log's going out in front and then we're, the performance is just going to be completely limited. So we'll so hope th this video playing in the background, we've got the, got the block press going on. And you look at the rack positions on these guys doing the block and there is nobody who is keeping a kind of that neutral or perfectly straight spine. Yeah. But not you but like not many of them are, are complaining of like say say uh, back pain and back trouble and stuff so you can um it's the position though that if you just get into that position for the first time with 100 plus kilo it's going to feel terrible and your lower yeah. back's going to cramp and everything but it's a position that can be trained and cued just like an arch and a bench press it's the exact same thing you can't you can't it, when you're in extension or hyper extension, you can't bulge your disc, so to speak, because you've got a huge ligament in front of your spine. So that as your spine's going into extension, the disc can't bulge that way. It has to bulge this way into flexion. Uh, you're more likely to get some kind of like muscle strain rather than serious spine injury if you were to over push that position. Um, so, like I say, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty safe. I think it's called the lateral longitudinal ligament or something isn't it that runs right in front of the spine uh, that's why when you arch on the bench it's it's really safe and you're setting you're setting your scapular position different as well when you're in this position because if you're vertical torsoed it's difficult to get scapular retraction and, and keep that keep that position on a block for example because your elbow is in, the load's in front of you isn't it so as soon as you lean back and get that elbow underneath your wrist you can retract yeah. scapula and get a lot of uh, stability there as well so it's, it's pretty safe it's just um yeah it's, it's just a position that you need to train it or else like i say if you just go into it it's going to feel terrible yeah but who's this not... is this um lalas yeah, I think so. Twice as wide as the blocks. <laughs> yeah, you see his position there. He's got like elbow under wrist, and this looks perfect, doesn't it? He's absolutely savage. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm not too dialed in with the with the exact anatomy of this, but I mean, just taking the 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 simple approach of I think we've talked about it in one of one of the early podcasts. Actually, I think I asked the question: Is there such thing as is there such thing as bad technique or whatever or inappropriate load? I think we discussed it. And, and the the thing that I suppose my belief and what I, what I kind of teach clients and what the approach I take to myself is that if you're getting injured, it's because you're trying to put, put usually because it, you're, you're trying to put too much force through an unprepared position. It's not necessarily the position that's the, the problem. It's the inappropriate load. So my, my, my approach is like whatever you, need, whatever you need for your sport. So looking, so taking like a strength and conditioning approach to strongman and doing a needs analysis of what we need for our sport. If I'm just keeping, like say someone like me, if I'm just keeping neutral spine, doing jerks or everything, whatever, and then I come to a block press and a sandbag press and a stone press and I've got no strength and resilience in this kind of 
uh, back extended position, then I'm doing myself a disservice. And also, the, so you can take the you can take the approach of like my performance is just going to be limited. But also, you can you, pe people there's some pe there's some people who sit in the sit in the group of oh well I'll just I'll just do all my training with kind of a neutral spine. And then I'll just see what happens and then just save it till comp day and then just go into these positions on comp day. Whereas my, my if I have my athletes or myself, if I'm just going into this kind of, let's say, exposed position, uh, on because it is an exposed position, you, you're getting into a position where your joints aren't necessarily stacked. The, you, 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 are, you are putting more force through your spine, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, but like are you going to be in more of a more of a risk if you just turn up on comp day and you just go yolo and just go for it on uh, and hope that everything's going to be okay or are you going to be better strategically building up like resilience in terms of both confidence and um and strength i don't know you can build resilience and strength in silly positions can't you josh so exactly so yeah any position you any position you hit consistently can get um, very strong. Yeah. And a, a thing that made the penny drop for me probably about eight years ago, I did a did a strength and conditioning course and they were saying about running mechanics and ideal running mechanics. And um, like pe people were like putting the hand up and saying, oh yeah, you should be like describing all this perfect scenario or whatever. And he said, right, okay, let's video, th video this thing. Moved on to the next. Moved on to the next section. He said, "Right, you guys. The there's a little sandbag over there. Go and run to the sandbag. Pick the sandbag up and sprint back. And then someone video it. And then they videoed it. And then as soon as there was an element of competition and people are trying to beat each other, then the they watched the video f like f full speed and and for oh yeah, you could see the technique breakdown or what uh, technique." breakdown inverted commas and then you put it in slow mode and you saw all these positions that people were scared of you know well you're going into when as soon as the whistle goes and a bit of competition you're rounding your back to go and pick that sandbag up you've got valgus knee stress as you lean towards there you're twisting at your lumbar but guess what you're fine and you're absolutely bullshit.